What's going on guys? It's Naomi Cowan with Ryerson Student Life. Now I wanted to share with you Ryerson's latest initiative, the Digital Media Zone, a space where students' innovative ideas get the opportunity to come to life using the latest technology and industry expertise. So let's go upstairs and check it out. We're in Dundas Square, everybody. I'm here with Jonathan. He is a master student in the media production program. His project is pretty cool. Tell me about it. Um, so essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to further uh, like interactive technologies, whether it's on the floor, uh, storefront windows, uh, or touch screens themselves. And uh, it kind of had this idea that interactive would be the future of, of advertising techniques. And I've had some unbelievable opportunities uh, so far. I just got back from New York doing something with, with L'Oreal. <laughs> it was an unbelievable opportunity. Wow. And it was a, a very successful campaign. And uh, hopefully looking forward to doing some more, more. work with them in the next couple Well, congratulations. Months. That's cool. Yeah, thank and you. So it's really exciting that um, the stuff that I'm trying to, you know, promote and I guess further research is actually getting out and uh, good, getting in, getting out into a real world scenario, if you know what I mean. It's just the resources and the support that I get from Ryerson is, is second to none, and I couldn't be uh, any more proud to be a part of it, as I'm sure you can imagine. I can. <laughs> so this idea pretty much started your own business. This idea grew into its own business. Absolutely. And... Uh, I probably wouldn't be at this point where I am today if it wasn't for the support of yeah. you know, the Digital Media Zone and, and Ryerson back me. And it's been a wild ride in the last <laughs> six months, and I'm looking forward to how things progress, definitely. Awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, we are involved in a project uh, which is a European-funded research project, and our role in the project is to build a mobile application to help passengers with disability so that they can navigate their way while they are in the metro yeah. system. So we are building a mobile application which is... Uh, very sensitive to your situational information. So depending on where you are, who you are, automatically it's going to adapt itself. And then if you, there is a monitoring module here, which is developed by uh, our students. And then these are all the passengers now who are traveling in the metro Amazing. system using this so software. So Ryerson students help to create this module. Exactly. It is a brilliant opportunity. And then we are showing what our students are capable of. And uh, the, the European partners are seeing uh, the types of projects that are, we are developing. And we are starting to collaborate with them more. And then we are participating in more EU projects in awesome. the future. This project is going to go live in Paris in May. And uh, we are going to have a live demo in, in Paris. Well, when I got introduced to the Digital Media Zone, the first thing I recognized was the space. And the space was basically open to take it anywhere you wanted to go. It was really built for the students and controlled by the students. And I've never seen a university step out and do anything like that. We have to change the way we look at things. And the zone is one of these places that is going to revolutionize the way people get to think and students get to think and learn. And the Digital Media Zone is the first initiative I've seen that a university um, has come up with that is shown the vision that students are learning differently today. Ryerson is creating a nucleus for how every university will probably change. That's what I like to hear. Why do you think this idea, what do you think about this idea? Well, I mean, this is a great idea. It's a great idea because it's, you know, just pulsating with energy. It's a place where, you know, things can happen because nobody knows obstacles yet. Most innovation occurs when people are very young and before they're taught about obstacles in their way. So, you know, Bill Gates started Microsoft when he was like 20, and Steve Jobs, uh, the same sort of thing with, uh, with Apple. So, you know, there's a sort of history of people doing great things before they're taught to have things in their way, and, and this place is, uh, is all about that. Okay, so right now I am in a top secret location on campus. <laughs> This is Adrian Bolzaki, yeah. and he is a PhD student in the Electrical and Computer Engineering program. That's right. And he's working on an amazing project. I've heard about this for quite some time. It's called The Cave. Yes. It's different than IMAX because with IMAX, everybody's sharing the same view. With this, we have head tracking built into our system. And right. As you can see, with IMAX, you've got one specific you know, narrow window to look right. from, and you get kind of an illusion of 3D. This is a lot better than that. I'm going to the joint, I believe, where your knee is. I'm going to my knee or to the yeah, so Wow. Also, what I did was I set up so that your head is treated like a spotlight. So as you move around, you can see the yeah, lighting yeah. inside the cave of the lab. Oh, my goodness. You were telling me that this lab 
entire lab is about to become Canada's first, or actually Canada's most advanced, virtual reality lab. Absolutely, yes. Here with Chris, a Ryerson alumnus who's playing a big role in the digital media zone. Chris, tell me what this space means to you. Uh, to me, it means coming with great ideas, but taking it a step further and executing the idea to become right. an amazing business. And I believe that the DMZ, the Digital Media Zone, will create great businesses that will really shape the future of the Canadian technology landscape, but most importantly, the, the global business landscape. So the Digital Media Zone is helping us not only come up with ideas, but also seeing them through for lifelong business opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. The Digital Media Zone is definitely where it's at. I have been blown away by all the different projects that Ryerson students are working at. So I think we can safely say that Ryerson University is the first place in Canada to have anything like this. So if you're tired of working out of your basement trying to bash ideas out alone, come on down to the Digital Media Zone. We've got some great people here and maybe we'll find some space for you. I'm Naomi Cowan. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.